Hi guys, welcome back for another video or welcome if you're here for the first time. I'm excited for this video because I've never done a few days in my life before. Also, I'm so sorry if you can hear that. I think it's a weed eater in the background. It's annoying they're doing yard work at my apartment right now, but anyway. I have quite a few fun things planned in the days ahead, so I thought it'd be fun to document it and I'll tell you what's on the agenda for today. Today is Wednesday. The plan is to do a lot of stuff for our new house, so I'll give you guys an update on what things are looking like. We just finished painting the entire house yesterday and I told you guys in my last video in my empty house tour that we were painting everything white. So the ceilings even we had to paint too because they're the same color as the walls. And oh my gosh, I don't even think I realize how long it would take to paint. I'm so glad that it's done. The only thing that's not done though is like in our stairwell because it's super high up. So we haven't done that yet, but we're getting in a few other things today like a faucet and cabinet pulls and like a few bathroom faucets and like a kitchen one. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'll give you guys an update on what everything's looking like, but Today I'm planning on basically just like cleaning out the house. I'm just gonna clean everything because we want it to be clean before, obviously before we move stuff in. So I'm planning on just like wiping the counters down really well, vacuuming everywhere. And then later today I signed up to take a meal to a couple who's in our Sunday school class who had a baby a couple weeks ago. And then I need to check and see if I have like a tinfoil pan thing, like the throwaway ones. If I don't, I'm going to get that from Walmart and I'm also going to get some more Swiffer pads from Walmart. Something that I realized though that's super frustrating is that I wanted to bring my vacuum, my Dyson. And if you guys have a Dyson, you know that they die pretty quickly. So I need to bring the charger, but I don't have the like a screwdriver here. We have all of Drew's tools at our house, which is like 15 minutes away. And I just really, I, I just looked up online how to unscrew something without a screwdriver so i'm gonna try a couple of things first and if i can't get out of the wall then i'll go to the house and come back i'm finally at our house i had to take some cabinet liner stuff that you put in the bottom of your cabinets back to walmart and they wouldn't let me return it to the neighborhood walmart because they don't sell it there but i tried to look online and it said you could return anything to any walmart store so that was frustrating because I waited so long. But I'm finally here. I don't know if you can tell a difference because it's like such a similar color and subtle change. But this is our newly white walls. So you can kind of see back there and over here. I think it turned out really well, really pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna clean the counters first because that way I can like wipe stuff into the floor and then start on like sweeping and vacuuming. Oh, and by the way, I was able to use a butter knife to undo the screw instead of having to come here and get the screwdriver. You're full of medicine and you're both dead. Oh my gosh. I went to the farmer's market and got cinnamon crystals. a bun but I feel like it looks like I just have no hair but I am currently working on making the meal for the couple tonight and our faucet and sink sprayer just came in well not sink sprayer it's a cup sprayer and I wanted to show you guys because they're the perfect color on camera I feel like you can't really tell that much but that's the cup sprayer and then here's the faucet it looks so good. I'm so excited to put these in or for Drew to put them in. I'm going to show you guys what the casserole is looking like. I made a little more to make for me and Drew for dinner. And so here's what it looks like. This is just chicken casserole. It has 
chicken in it that I cooked in the crock pot, cream of chicken soup, sour cream, and then Ritz crackers is the topping with butter. If you like to make meals for people, this is my go-to meal is that, and then I get some Hawaiian rolls, and then my grandparents always give me lots of green beans from their garden, so I'll give them one of these little pint-sized ones, and then I make chocolate chip cookies. So I always use, if you don't know who she is, I use Kristen Johns' recipe. She's like a YouTuber, and it's so good. So I'm currently working on that. I'll show you guys what they look like when they're done. I'm back at our house. I just dropped off the meal. I forgot to film what the cookies turned out like, but I have like two extra, so I'll show you all that when I get home. But here is our new faucet. I love it. It is so pretty. It's exactly the color that I wanted. And we have a little cup thing too. And it's like the things I have in Starbucks. You can see that little black thing goes in it and then you just put your cup on top and it rinses it out and it's just really nice. So I'm very excited about that. And we also got in the rest of our bathroom faucets and they're almost exactly this color. So I'll show you guys Drew's working on it. the result of the cookies. I ate one earlier, had a taste test it. They're delicious. That's what's represented here today. In addition. It is now the next day. It's Thursday and it's 12.07 right now. So this morning I just woke up and did my Bible reading and then I took a shower and then I just put on some comfy clothes and started editing. But last night we watched the Survivor finale and it was so good. It was so sad. If any of you guys watched Survivor, Carson was obviously the best. And we were so, so sad. But it was still so good. And Jam Jam was amazing the entire time. He was so funny and so he definitely deserved to win but it was just so sad to see Carson go out but anyway that was so fun and I actually like this is the first time we have watched it while it was coming out so I need to look up when the next season comes out because I'm so excited I'm about to make a latte and then make lunch I have just been watching so many latte art videos just trying to figure out how to do latte art. I'm gonna give it my best, we'll see how it goes. Well, that was a fail. I think what the problem was is that I was trying to record it like this and it was just like too hard to do it right here and keep the milk. I don't know. The problem is that my milk got too much air in it. You can see like where the foam is going down and the bubbles are popping, but I'm just gonna try it and see how it tastes. It's really good. I also like don't know quite what I'm doing, but I felt like I couldn't get a good angle while still trying to video it. But you know, I'll just keep trying every day and hopefully I'll just get better every day. But my plan for the rest of today 
is I think I may keep editing and then go to the gym or take a break from editing, go to the gym, then come back, keep editing. And then tonight I'll make dinner and then our Sunday school class does this thing called Supper Club every month where typically somebody hosts it and everyone just like brings food and we all just eat dinner together and hang out. But tonight, instead of doing that, we're doing a different type of supper club. So we're all going to play pickleball and it's gonna be like picnic style. So yeah, I miss pickleball, it's so fun. And so that'll be good. And then tomorrow is gonna be so exciting because I used my birthday money this year, which was in March, to buy Ed Sheeran tickets. And he is my absolute favorite artist. I think he is just so incredibly talented and i love his music i love his new album subtract and so he is playing in atlanta tomorrow which is friday may 26th we're gonna head there kind of early just to make sure that since it's general admission we can get or i want to make sure i can get in line in time so yeah very excited and it'll be a fun day back from the gym and i did I'll show you but if you've watched any of my other videos I'm doing move 2022 by Natasha OCN. I have one more workout then I'll finish it but I did lower body featuring I see I don't know if that's featuring or functional but lower body featuring strength that was like an hour long now I'm back and I'm editing before making dinner tonight it's 4 43 watching JC Marie Smith and then editing these pictures and i just wanted to show a couple of them because it's just so beautiful and this couple is so cute and like all the colors are gorgeous the vintage couch just like really made it and this venue is in georgia it's called tacoa falls I haven't edited these yet but it's just so pretty and i'm just loving loving editing these whoops so that's what i'm doing now and i'm really excited for pickleball later today our cabinet pulls came in today and i'm a little skeptical about them because they don't look quite gold they're supposed to be gold but like a lighter more like green tone gold they're called champagne gold so like compared to the silver screws they definitely look gold but i feel like you can even tell on here they just look almost like silver tinted like here is it against our silver cabinet pulls so i'm not sure we're gonna have to hold them up or like put one on in our house to see but we may have to return these which would be like the fourth cabinet pulls that i've returned I just got done at the gym. I'm officially done with Move 2022 and it feels crazy. That'll probably be one of my next videos is just reviewing the workout program, but it feels so good to be done. Next, I'll probably just either restart it or go back through and do the workouts that I really liked from it, but it was amazing. It's Natasha Osnan's Move 2022 program. I forgot to mention that today is Friday and now I'm headed home to get ready for the Ed Sheeran concert. I'm so excited. Okay, so this was my original plan to wear this dress and it's from American Eagle. I don't know, it's just like a plain dress and um, it's cute, but it's really windy today and I'm scared it's just gonna like blow up and also when you're standing in line for a long time it just like sucks not having pockets and it does have pockets but like you know you don't put your phone and like chapstick and stuff in dress pockets because it weighs it down and then it just looks weird so what i think i'm gonna do is wear some overalls i got from princess polly and i have this cute little hair thingy that you tie around your head so i'm gonna try that on and then see if i like that better because i'll also be able to wear tennis shoes with that outfit too okay i've never worn this before i also have this one that's so so cute but i've never worn this before and i felt like the greens would kind of match this one's a little bit brighter but i'm gonna try to put it on okay i think i'm gonna tie it under and then pull hairs out of the sides okay here it is tied let me try to does it go behind your ear or 
Does it go in front? I don't really know. Okay. Is this cute or is it silly? I can't tell. I feel from it like from the front it looks stupid. I think I just need to look on Pinterest and see how other people have done it first. Okay, I think that this looked cute, but again, I just, I'm going for comfy. I might just wear a flower clip because I feel like that'll just be easiest to like keep my hair out of my face because honestly, like this, just my hair was completely in my face. So here's the fit. I know that the bathroom mirror is dirty, but I just have on this little top has like some pattern texture on it and then these overalls from princess polly and then i don't have any shoes on right now but i'm gonna put my hocus on we made it and we got parking right beside the venue our car's right back there and the venue's right there a couple days later now I just realized that I never ended this I was planning on recording more yesterday and then I honestly just it just got away from me but anyway today's Sunday and we went to the concert on Friday and oh my gosh it was absolutely incredible like I cannot believe how just how like close we were. I was a little confused about what this concert was because Ed Sheeran posted on his Instagram that he was wanting to play Subtract, his new album, beginning to end at some smaller venues for like a more intimate vibe. And so I signed up for the pre-sale. I was so excited because this venue was only like 2200 capacity or something. It's called the Tabernacle in Atlanta, Georgia. And so I bought the tickets and then he announced his mathematics tour and that is like huge venue. So like he played last night at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which I don't know what the capacity is, maybe like 80,000 or even more, I'm not really sure. So I was confused and I'm like, so what is this really going to be? Like, is he just going to play Subtract? Is he going to play other songs? And basically he said that Subtract is like really sad. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background, Drew's playing something out there. And also we have not made up our bed because we just got back from church. But anyway, basically what he did is he played, he said that he felt like Subtract wasn't meant to be like played in this gigantic stadium where everyone just wants to like go crazy and dance and sing along. And so that's why he wanted to bring a full band on stage and play it. And if you know anything about him, he usually has like his loop pedal thing where he creates all of the music himself. So he sang Subtract beginning to end and then he didn't sing the bonus tracks though. And then he sang a bunch of his more popular songs like Thinking Out Loud, Shivers, Bad Habits, Perfect, Shape of You, stuff like that. We got like second row. It was general admission. So like one girl was standing in front of me, but she was shorter than me, which was the biggest blessing ever. So I had such a good view. He was so close. And then they, all of a sudden they like push back everybody. And I'm like getting pushed back by this gigantic security guard. I'm like falling into Drew. And Ed comes down off the stage, comes right in front of me. I mean, he, he's like one inch away from me. I'll insert a clip from that here. This, this venue was not built to have a PA system in it. This venue originally had live music and the uh, acoustics of this venue can have acoustic music in it. So, what I would like to say, and this, we have to work together on this. This is it. Uh, we work together. I'm going to come and stand in the crowd. So we have to be on a pin drop silence. And I'm going to sing the songs and I hope you enjoy them. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. Struggling, they say she's in the 
I know his voice is good, but it was just unbelievable hearing it in person. And I am just confident that no other concert will ever top that. It was such a good experience. I'm so glad we got to go. And then we just did like some work on our house yesterday. And tomorrow, my father-in-law and mother-in-law are coming to help. We only have just like painting the stairwell because it's super high. We didn't have a ladder high enough. So they're gonna help us do that. And then also we're gonna do a beadboard backsplash. Well, my father-in-law and Drew are gonna do that and I guess I'll help however I can. I forgot to mention this, but I did wanna give an update on the, the countertops. We decided literally like minutes after I finished filming the home tour, the empty house tour, I just was like reading through the directions on the marble, like the granite marble kit. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we were going to paint our granite countertops and do like a marble design and you like epoxy them so it stays. But you have to like strip the granite of its seal. Immediately I was just like, oh my gosh, like we're, we really are ruining our granite by doing that. It just seemed really bad for resale value. So we talked about it and we were like, we're just going to be okay with this. And like this house isn't going to be everything that we've dreamed of for our first home and we get that. So we decided not to. I honestly wouldn't recommend doing it on granite. That's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. My first little days in the life. Hopefully I'll do better about filming more of my days in the future. But I'm so appreciative of you guys being here. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.